question 12 the frequency distribution of the weight of 100 participants in a high jump competition is as shown below you have the weight in kilogram the number of participants as frequencies a part of the question constructs the cumulative frequency table to get that table you simply add another column title cumulative frequency b draw the cumulative curve to draw the curve you need to add another you need to add another column to the table which is class boundary see part of the question from the curve estimate the remember figure one median remember figure two semi interquartile range remember figure three probability that a participant chosen at random weighs at least 60 kilograms solution from the given table you construct the cumulative frequency table we can take the weight as class interval this is frequency column as given in the question then you add cumulative frequency column the first cumulative frequency is the first frequency to get the next you add 10 to 18 you get this 28 plus 22 you have 50 50 plus 25 75 plus 16 you have 91 plus 9 you have 100 class boundary to get the class boundary you need to get the boundary value first and to get the boundary value you get difference in adjacent sides from the class interval and divide it by two anyone you you consider the difference is two if you div difference is one is one if you divide one by two you have 0 0.5 as the boundary value the first set here they are the lower class limits so to get lower class boundary you subtract the boundary value 0 0.5 from the lower class limit so 20 minus 0 0.5 you have 19.5 30 minus 0 0.5 you have 29.5 and so on to get the upper class boundary you add the boundary value to the upper class limit so 29 plus 0 0.5 you have 29.5 79 plus 0 0.5 you have 79.5 so this is the complete table needed to plot the cumulative frequency curve to plot the curve, all that we need is the cumulative frequency against the upper class boundary. The vertical axis is for cumulative frequency and the horizontal axis upper class boundary. The scale on the vertical axis is 2 centimeters to 10 units. In other words, 1 cm to 5 units. On the upper class boundary axis, there's no special there's no special scale for it. You start with the first one. If the points are much than this, you can you, you can write them together without the space you have. But because the points are few from zero we have here as 29.5 followed by 39.5 and so on if you check here the difference is 10 so the difference is 10 it means that 
one line is simply one so that you have 29.5 30.5 31.5 and so on then on the vertical axis you also have one line to be one unit so let's plot 10 against 29.5 now 28 is the 88th line from 20 here is 28 against 39.5 then 50 is located easily against 49.5 you have 75 in between 70 and 80 you plot that against 59.5 you have 91 the first line after 90 you plot that against 69.5 and you have 100 against 79.5 next thing is to join the point together the Cumulative frequency curve is always S in shape. If you plot the points correctly, you will have that S shape, as you can see with this one. Here, all the points have been joined together, and you can see the S shape from the, fre from the cumulative frequency curve. Let us move to C part of the question. Part C, Map Figure 1, you are asked to estimate the median. Median is half of the cumulative frequency. Total there is 100, half of it gives 50th position of the cumulative frequency. So this is the 50th position. You trace it to the curve and you trace to the upper class boundary axis. And that point is directly 49.5 as the median. Roman figure 2, you are to get the semi interquartile range. The semi interquartile range is obtained using this formula that is 1 over 2 times Q3. Q3 is the third quarter or upper quarter minus Q1, the first or lower quarter. You should note that quarter divides the distribution into four equal parts. For that, the third quarter is 3 over 4 times the cumulative frequency. That is 3 over 4 times 100, and you have the 75th position of cumulative frequency. That is the point you have here. So this point is the 75th position for Q3 you trace to the curve when you trace to the upper class boundary axis you simply have 59.5 now you get Q1 Q1 is 1 over 4 times cumulative frequency that is 1 over 4 times 100 and that is the 25th position of cumulative frequency here is 25th you trace to the curve when you trace down you have it this point earlier I told us that one line is also one because the difference is 10 so you have 29.5 so the, 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 the next line is 30.5 31.5 when you get to this point you have 37.5 as q1 as q1 so semi interquartile range is this you subtract the two quarters and multiply it by half that 
this this and you have 11 roman figure 3 you are asked to find probability that a participant chosen at random weighs at least 60 kilograms at least that is 60 and above 60 and above those that weigh 60 and above you can get that value from the table because it is possible from the table and the numbers are 16 plus 9 that is 25 over total participant 100 that reduces to 1 over 4 as the required probability if from the table is not possible you have to get that number from the OK that is the cumulative frequency curve